users is what I will call it as a actors. When it comes to the sophisticated user, they have the complete knowledge about the system, how they should use. Then who are they? So I have some of the people I have listed here, business analysts, scientists and engineers. Whenever they need, occasionally they will use. So I will call that category people as a casual end user. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the very important session. My dear students, if you just watch this uh, video uh, around you know, 10 to 12 minutes, so you will get 7 marks or 8 marks for sure. Okay, so without wasting much of your time, quickly let me get into the session. What is that I'm discussing in today's session? So guys, I will be discussing about the database system concepts and architecture in this topic. A very important topic is what I'm going to discuss today. What is that? So. That is all about the actors on scene and behind the scene. Sir, what is this actors? What is the meaning of actors? Users is what I will call it as a actors. If I have a database, who will be using the database is what I will call it as a actors. Let's quickly get into the topic. So fine, actors on scene. The first user or the actor is all about the database administrator. Sir, how do I write an exam? The first thing you have to list out the different types of users that we have. In that, the first one is database administrator. First, you write the database administrator. And what is the responsibility of a database administrator? So please observe, authorizing access to the database. Who should access and who should not access? Okay, that is the role of a database administrator. He will or she will decide, so who should be able to access and who should not access. That is the first point that you should remember. The second point is coordinating and monitoring its users. Okay, so whether it is functioning properly or is there any problem is happening. So all those monitoring tasks will be done by the database administrator. The third point that I have is acquiring the software and hardware resource. Say for example, if I want to maintain the database, some of the softwares are required, the hardwares are required. So all those things will be taken care by the database administrator. Along with these three points, so we, database administrator will also do some other tasks. What is that? Creating the users. He will create the users who should access, who should not access. So for them, say for example, he'll create the users. So for that user, what is the privilege? Say for example, this user can only see the data. This user can only write the data. This user can only update the data. This user can read and write the data. This user can read and update the data. Like this, he can define the privileges to the user, whatever he has created. Sir, why do we need all those things? Imagine I have different sections in the company. Account section, okay? Only accountant peoples, only accounts people should be able to access the data of accounts table. They should not see the data of the storage or the inventory table. Or they should not see the data of the technical group. So they should be able to access only the accounts details. So who will monitor that? Who will do that? Database administrator will do that. So that is the role of the database administrator. And also he or she will be able to take the backup or the copy of the database. So this is the major responsibilities of the database administrator. The next user that I have here is the database designer. What is the role of database designer? What is that he is going to do? Listen to me carefully. Identifying the data to be stored. What kind of data that I am trying to store that will be identified by whom? Designer. So fine, he has identified what is that I'm trying to store. What is the next thing that he is going to do? Choosing the appropriate structure to represent and store this data. If I know I am trying to store integer type of data, so I will be choosing the appropriate structure, how it should store. So that structure will be designed by whom? The designer. How exactly the table should look like? 
that design will be given by the designer based on what what type of data that i'm going to store that is what you need to remember with respect to the database designers moving forward to the next the next one is end users you can also expect this for two marks. They can also just uh, ask for two marks, mention the different types of end users. In that case, you have to mention these four. So what are the different types of end users we have? Let's check that. The first one that we have is casual end user. Second one, what is that we have? Name you are parametric end user. The third one that we have is sophisticated end user. The last one that we have is standalone end user. So guys, what exactly each user is doing? So let's understand in detail one by one now. The first one that I have is casual end users. Casual end users in the sense what? So please observe, access the database occasionally when needed. They are not the regular users. Whenever they need, occasionally they will use. So I will call that category people as a casual end user. That is an important point that you need to remember. And they need different information each time. They need different information each time. That is what you need to remember. Say, for example, I can compare it with a Google. Okay. Whenever uh, I will not be frequently using it. So whenever I use, I need different type of data. That is what you need to remember. And they use sophisticated query language. Specify their request. This is what I will call it as a casual end users. So fine. The next type of user that I have is all about the parametric on view. What exactly this? Guys, listen to me carefully. They make up the large section of the database. Majority of the people will come to this category. Okay, so what kind of uh, people are they? So let's understand. They communicate with the database on a regular period. So they, they are not like, you know, occasionally they are not using, but they are using it regularly. So fine, how are they using it? Communicate with the system by invoking one of the application program that have been written previously. Already they have a software. They are trying to interact with that on a regular basis. Okay, fine. Their job is to constantly querying and updating the database. Constantly they are accessing, they are taking some data, they are updating it. So what is that, sir? We are not uh, able to map it. Yes, I'll give you some example. Observe here. Banking teller and reservation clerks, they have their own software, banking software. So if I go to the bank, I want to check my statement. So they will enter my account number, so they will get the statement. So in the same way, I want to deposit. They will enter the um, uh, account number and they will enter what is that amount that I'm trying to deposit and they will show deposit. So they will be interacting with, they're not interacting with multiple software. That is what you need to observe here. They have their own predefined program. Okay. So that is what I will call it as a, their own software. They are trying to interacting with their own software regularly. Why? They wanted to update or they wanted to modify the data. So such kind of users, I will call it as a parametric users. That's what you need to understand. The next type of users that we have is sophisticated user. When it comes to the sophisticated user, they have the complete knowledge about the system, how they should use. Then who are they? So I have some of the people I have listed here, business analysts, scientists and engineers. They have a, a very good hold or they have understood the system, how to use it. They have a good knowledge on how to use it. But when it compared to the previous one, that is end user and a parametric user. So these guys has got the complete knowledge about the system. So that is what you need to remember with respect to the sophisticated user. And the last one that I have for the day, it's all about, okay, the standalone user. When it comes to the standalone user, they are using a particular software to try to store their personal data. It can be a Google Drive, okay? So that kind of users, we call it as a standalone users. Mainly, basically, they are trying to store their personal data with a particular private uh, a software. Okay, that's what they are trying to uh, explain with a standalone user. This is the last user that we come across 
with the actors on scene. The next users that we have is system analysis and application program. What exactly system analysis is doing? So please observe determining the requirement of the end user. System analysis. Sir, let me explain the flow for all of you. So what happens first the designer database designer will design. So before that the system analysis will collect the requirement and then that will be given to the database designer. Database designer will design the structure of the database and then after that the application programmer will implement the design. That is what you need to remember. Always the application programmer will implement the design what is given by the designer. So this is what you need to remember with respect to the these two users. Moving forward to the next topic that I have is workers behind the scene. When it comes to the workers behind the scene, the first one that I have got here also that is database system designers and implementers. We have already spoken about the designers and implementers. So they take the responsibility of remember design and implement the database modules and interface of a software package. Okay, so which we have already discussed again tool developer will take the responsibility of developing the tools and very important point observe here operators and maintenance person what exactly they are doing suppose if anything any job is there to maintain the software or the hardware so that responsibility will be taken by these people. So guys, this is the different types of users that we come across with a database is what you need to remember and you can expect this question actors on scene, okay, for seven marks or eight marks. This is going to be a very important uh, part in the paper. So by saying this, I have come to an end of this session. Thank you.